In only three days, you will get the chance to test out one of virtual reality's most astounding and entertaining parts. Prepare to play Bone Lab as soon as possible, since the game is just three days away. Zero recently stunned everyone by announcing that Bone Lab will be released on Quest and Steam on September 29. This surprised all of us. Casually, the successor to Boneworks is well known for its extensive character customization options, native mod support, and backward compatibility with the original Quest game. Virtual reality VR will change forever after this game's release. This video will guide you about how Bomb Lab will change VR forever. The video will be very informative, so please stick to the end. If you are new to our channel, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button. Let's get straight into the topic. Bone Lab Impact on VR To those of you who yet want to play Boneworks, let me assure you that Bone Lab is the sort of game that will go above and beyond what you had envisioned. Your degree of frustration will rise whenever you try to comprehend something in a virtual reality game that does not behave in the way you anticipate it would. You might expect to be shocked out of your imagination in a typical manner. However, the Bone Lab will live up to your expectations since they are making significant progress toward resolving the issue with the Marrow engine. It takes place in various locations, giving you the impression that you've been moved to another world. Quest 2. The little trailer suggests that Boneworks, in addition to the sandbox arena mode and the tactical trial, will be accessible on the Quest 2. Mods will be simple to install and include in the game. Everyone knows the problems of trying to add modding support to a game that was not built. Given the Quest's enormous user base, Bone Lab's mod system could provide tremendous customization choices. Consider what the community could accomplish with Counter-Strike, virtual reality's cutting-edge technology and armory of playable custom weaponry. Anything you can think of is possible. The Bone Lab engine might generate a Left 4 Dead or Call of Duty Zombie. The game features inside this game are exciting, and I want to show you all the game features we've seen so far and what you should be looking forward to. So let's break this down. Features. Fast forward to 2022, when Boneworks has become the de facto virtual reality standard. This is ludicrous for two reasons. First, the incredible physics system existed long before Boneworks was developed. It was an unforgettable experience. Secondly, the game became immediately popular because of its realistic gameplay and sizable modding community, placing a lot of pressure on the game's producers and influencing other games like Counter-Strike. The Zero is fully aware of the possibilities of a coordinated team effort. Consider the enormous customizing choices made possible by Boneworks. The game features Spider-Man terrain, Apache flying, and cooperative gameplay. I'm excited to get my hands on their newest game. The potential is limitless. Simply know that Brandon has confirmed that the game that might define standalone is coming to Quest, and that we have some great features to unpack that could make this the best game on the quest. If you're concerned about your appearance, remember that Bone Lab will take your measurements regardless. Until today, I hadn't discovered a VR game that fully accommodated my height and other physical traits. I can sometimes see straight through people's bodies, or my hip holsters will be displayed. As a result, everything is running much more smoothly. Skins created by the community will be accessible as a supplementary personalization form. Feel free to dress up as your favorite bone labors, Deadpool, or Homelander character. According to the trailers, Bomb Lab will integrate their physics engine into the Quest, and Brandon states the Quest 2 processor has a lot of wiggle space. That's fantastic news, since difficulties with a device's performance on that scale are unavoidable. Second, the Quest Edition's visual potential is just mind-boggling. The similarity between the PC and Quest versions of Red Mata 2 demonstrates that neither game's full potential has been realized as of 2022. Avatar Features Keep in mind that you could take your VR chat, Avatar, and put it into this game, and play Ball Lab like anyone you play in VR chat, or whatever you play in any game that employs an avatar. You are free to use any identity you choose. In short, if your avatar is large, carrying heavy goods will be easy, and the converse is true if your avatar is small. If you're a hot and on Wifu, Master Chief, or PewDiePie, you can't utilize the Bone Lab. It includes a body remapping technique that allows you to use any playable character you like. I can play Bone Lab in the virtual world as myself by moving my VR chat avatar there. Unlike importing an avatar, 
Mero fills in the blanks to give your avatar a broad range of traits and sizes, allowing the character to suit your actual figure. The experience is the like as you play as a 3-foot-tall Anime girl or a 12-foot-tall orc. The game starts with the user rolling a die to choose a random character. Their interactions with the avatar alter as their physical sizes and the avatar's physical proportions fluctuate. To put it another way, stress levels. This website shows that Zero has produced a comprehensive avatar physical characteristic and proportion mapper. In other words, if the avatar has hips, touching your hips will cause you to touch the avatar's hips as well. It's a huge thing. You'll learn a lot while having a great time. Because so much of the game industry has developed to depend on modifications, Bone Lab stands apart from the rest. This is just the beginning. A dedicated mod booth, meaning mods are natively supported. One of the most technically accomplished VR games ever created now, natively enables tweaks is a significant advancement that needs to be highlighted. Native mod support will distinguish this game. But if you thought that was the end of development, you'd be pleasantly surprised. The fights seem to be of great quality, and it is clear that this avatar is unlike any other we have seen before. It wasn't that I didn't enjoy the environment. It was simply so exciting that I shouted my head off. Simply, I did not think it was possible. Hearing this caught me completely off guard. Character swapping. Character swapping in a game is an essential aspect of problem solving. Again, we see how switching to a different character with different talents may help you approach difficulties from new perspectives. Then a tank character arrives, who you may simply destroy by approaching him and striking him. Everything from health to damage to one's body weight's ability to fling stuff about is unique to the person. There are some rising pistons among us. Oh my goodness! There's so much here that's wonderful. I love that they will embrace that look, like this man later in the film who simply knocks over trash like it's nothing like you. Just watch the trailer. I won't go into too much detail. It displays the work placed into building these characters and devising new ways for them to interact with their surroundings. Each playable character has unique advantages and disadvantages, and players may import their character if they like. You can make a character with absurdly high numbers, and speed through the game in no time. Or you could make a character with microscopic stats and no influence. Bone Lab, in my perspective, permits you to have a character that feels amazing in your hands due to its weight and proper, because it matches your liking. One of the primary reasons Bone Lab will become a VR classic is the significant role that user-created content, UGC, will play in its popularity. The virtual reality business is probably yearning for something like this. This will likely be a watershed moment in the Steam community's perception of VR games. The level is an example of a user-created level in which you go bowling with a go-kart. Think about how you can achieve it and the creativity that will come with it for other things. Because the initial purpose of Boneworks was to immerse the user in their environment, the Bone Lab is a natural continuation. Given Boneworks' success, it's simple to imagine how much Bone Lab might make with a mission release and total faith in its talents. I wish I could say more to express my excitement about this, but I noticed that this video is already becoming too lengthy. Okay guys, these are all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. If you think this video was helpful, please let us know in the comments below.